On behalf of the Department of Pharmacy, the National University of Singapore, I would like to welcome all prospective students and their parents and friends. I'm Christina Chai, and I'm the Head of Department of Pharmacy. We are living in extraordinary times. Towards the end of last year, we have heard of the extreme bushfires in Australia, followed by the floods. And since the beginning of this Lunar New Year, the, the world faces a health threat from the coronavirus known as COVID-19. So what do we know about the future? Not much by the look of it. And yet, in the next few months, you will have to decide on your future, what you would like to do in the university in this age of the VUCA world. Almost every job has evolved and some jobs have become obsolete and new types of jobs are being created. But what is constant about the future is that we will always be concerned about health and diseases. The understanding of the science of diseases and indirectly how to keep healthy, the discovery of new medicines for the treatment of illnesses that is not even known yet, the management of medications, the regulation of medicines and so on. This is the pharmaceutical world. This is what NUS Pharmacy is about. It is about you and me and our future generations. It is about making an impact and making a difference. In this segment of the presentation, my colleague, Professor Ho Han Kiet, will explain what pharmaceutical scientists do and what we offer in terms of the undergraduate program leading to this. Greetings to all prospective students, parents, and friends. My name is Ho Han Kiet. I'm the Deputy Head for Education at the Department of Pharmacy. I'm here to tell you a little bit more about our program in pharmaceutical science. Pharmaceutical science plays an integral role in the field of healthcare management, especially against severe and serious health and disease conditions. And for this reason, I am entitling my talk here, The Arsenal of the Healthcare Better. What led us to this place in the first place? Well, short of dramatizing the whole issue, the reality is that we are here because of the ongoing COVID-19 epidemic, and therefore we cannot meet face to face. And in lieu of the session, I want to use this disease as a talking point and to illustrate how pharmaceutical science is actually very relevant even today. Today, we fight a war against the virus. But unlike uh, what we commonly know, this war is fought over two different arenas. In the foreground, we have the frontline healthcare professional trying to deal with the disease on a day-to-day -day basis. They triage the condition, they uh, diagnose the patient and they offer the appropriate isolation or treatment. Yet on the other hand, another war takes place in the background. And this is where researchers, scientists and other technologies are raising against time to find ways to understand the virus better so that we can diagnose the problem and also to find solutions to solve them. And it is in this background that pharmaceutical science come into the picture. Pharmaceutical science is that, is that specialized body of knowledge that enable us to understand disease and to find ways that we can solve it using medication. And therefore, the product that comes out of pharmaceutical science research is the actual weapons, the actual arsenal that we use to combat the front line better. To illustrate this, let me show you what has happened very recently. For instance, pharmaceutical science knowledge is used to repurpose existing drugs. Earlier this month, 4th of February, the MOH chief health scientist, who was also our former president in the university, have stated that we can use repurpose existing HIV drugs for the treatment of the coronavirus. And that is because some of those HIV drugs, as shown over here, they are structurally similar uh, to be able to combat against the same problem or similar problem seen in the coronavirus. In another illustration, 
there is also development of novel therapies whereby a company, Gilead, has developed this drug Remdesivir that was first explored as an Ebola virus treatment, but it didn't work very well. Now, instead of just trashing this particular drug, they decided to test it on a small group of coronavirus infected patients, and similarly, they found that to work pretty well. So, what does this lead us to? You may be wondering, are these just a hit and run? Just a trial and error that we happen to find something that worked by accident? Actually, no. Pharmaceutical science provides that grounding knowledge and the rational approach for us to consider both of those drugs for treatment. How is that so? On one hand, we know the coronavirus produced the protease enzyme, which is important for it to make its vi viral particle mature. And the HIV drug happens to block and inhibit this particular enzyme and therefore render this coronavirus non-infective anymore. On the other hand, the coronavirus depends on another enzyme called the RNA polymerase to make its blueprint. And if we can block that blueprint uh, making through the use of this agent Remdesivir, then it will stop the genetic code from being completed and therefore you will not have a full-blown virus anymore. With all that said, we are here to offer you a novel program in pharmaceutical science. And the goal of this program is to produce a generation of pharmaceutical scientists who are ready to fulfill all the different functions across the spectrum of the pharmaceutical industry. To do that, we have a, a four-year program that first offer a firm foundation in the basic sciences and to marry that to the clinical sciences so that you can see how the drug meets and solves the problem in actual patient population. Then we will also cover the full spectrum of pharmaceutical sciences uh, that covers the whole range of drug discovery that include not only the research end, but also the manufacturing, the analysis, the regulatory processes, as well as post-marketing functions. And we want to close it up by also helping our students to constantly improve themselves, to have a, develop a growth mindset, and to take that skills to, uh, to the different aspects of the industry, and even to find, create new possibilities in the day ahead. And to deliver that outcome must go beyond just a content knowledge. In that process, we built into our program a few salient features. For, for instance, we keep our class size small so that we can foster a closer collaborative learning environment where every student know their classmate and they can work across shoulders to, uh, to to solve problems together and collectively they can all achieve more. The small classroom also allow the students to engage the uh, individual lecturers more closely and to have a deeper dialogue and to enhance their understanding in that whole process. We also believe in using modern pedagogy that can be adapted to the profile of today's generation. A lot of teaching are done in the form of a flipped classroom and blended learning and we create rooms for them to exercise their own initiative and to drive their learning through self-directed uh, processes. We integrate the laboratory skills modules where they can see from end to end how all the different experiments and techniques can be used to solve a more complex problem like in pharmaceutical science. And we are also uh, believers of experiential learning and we want to create such options for them as early as possible. And an illustration is the use of a global classroom which also help our students connect with similar students in other parts of the world so that they can learn from each other's uh, culture and experiences and solve problems together in the virtual world. We also believe that this generation need to have more flexibility in their learning. 
within the curriculum, we safeguard about eight modules, which equates to almost one full year of curriculum time, where they can choose to learn more according to their own interests. As mentioned earlier, internship is an important aspect of experiential learning. So the way we support it in the program is to have a central placement team overseen by the director so that we help to match make students to specific uh, industries according to their own interests in order to maximize their learning and, and to take that learning back to the classroom eventually. So all this put together, we hope to position our graduates so that they can be confident and ready to fulfill all the different functions across the pharmaceutical industry. But what we can promise is to only to bring them to the starting point of their career. And we hope that from this learning journey with us, we will also excite them to see possibilities beyond just the entry point and for them to have the energy and the confidence to strive and take on higher level position. And at some point in time, we hope we will also encourage them to come back to the university for lifelong learning in the form of master's, PhD program or even other executive programs. Well, I hope that this short sharing has given you a glimpse of how pharmaceutical industry is all about and what an education in this area can bring you as a career. We hope to engage with you further and you can connect with us from the links as provided over here. Thank you very much for your kind attention.